back to the channel everyone. It's a beautiful day today. Today's gonna be a busy day for us on the farm here. We're, uh, we're weaning our calves today. We ran all the cows through, brought them up. Big group anyway right now. Brought them up and we're gonna wean off the calves and uh, from their moms. And then, uh, then we gotta run all the cows through. We gotta, we're gonna preg check them for the first time this year. That's gonna come out and preg check them, check them all for us. Then they get a vaccination and a dewormer and then they uh, go back out in the field. But we're also trying to get rid of some of our older cows that might not have calves. Um, they just cost us money if they're not going to have a calf. So preg testing is going to help us determine that. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see which ones are open or which are not and separate them out. And then hopefully, hopefully ship the call ones out and then replace them with some new heifers, some new bred heifers. So it's going to be a busy, busy day. They've got about 118 cows to do here. So gonna take most of the day just to do the cows and then uh, the calves will stay in the corrals overnight and uh, we'll end up running those through tomorrow the calves and tagging and uh, needling them so it'll be a busy day so stay tuned as we show you the action
there goes the cows back out to the field. We just got done done uh, sorting all the all the calves off the cows and running the cows through and and uh, prick checking them and uh, giving them their dewormer and vaccinations and they're good to go back out the field. So we just still got all the calves uh, in the cows. We're gonna uh, leave them in here overnight and then we'll run them through tomorrow and tag them and give them their needles and stuff. And uh, that's some uh, a bunch of uh, cows that are either open or they're old that we're gonna ship. We got them in this pen right here too. Got about 11 in there. There is actually some pregnant, but they're just old. They're coming on 20 years old, so it's just time to trip them out and get some new younger calves or cows in here. So they'll probably just uh, hang in here too um, till tomorrow. We can put them in another pen. But uh, yeah, we got the calves, calves to do tomorrow, and and, uh, and then we're done for the year we're running animals through. So it went really well. Got uh, I think we only had about five or six actually open. So the the, the uh, pregnancy percentages are, are pretty high this year. So hopefully, hopefully we can get up to you know over over 100 calves next year. They can have two loads ship out. So that'd be really good. Here's a few little guys. We'll run through them through to tomorrow. Hey guys, welcome back. It's the next day, the following day after we um, ran the cows through, vaccinated, and dewormed them and uh, separated the calves off from them. So today uh, we're going to run the calves through and, and uh, give them their tags and, and needles um, and their vaccinations. So they've been in the corrals all night. I put a bale out uh, over there for them. They already got it demolished. Put a bale in there last night and uh, they've been grunting all, all night, wondering what's going on. So a little bit of snow today, but not as nice as yesterday, but it's still not a bad day. So it should, should go all right. These guys are uh, anxious to get going. We're just uh, getting some tags read out, get the numbers wrote on them, get things ready. Um, we're getting organized around here, and then we're going to start bringing these calves up and uh, start running them through the chutes. So stick with us, and uh, we'll show you the action. <laughs>
guys, so uh, sorry to get a chance to finish the video the other day when we were finishing the calves up. Uh, got kind of tied up and busy, so a couple days later, I just wanted to wrap it up here. Um, got all the calves finally separated out. Uh, a couple got biased when we let them out and went back up the runway, so they're hanging by their mumps up there for quite a while. So it took a bit to coax them, coax them back down the runway and, and send them, send them on that way, but. Uh, we got them all eventually and they're all over there by themselves and they can't see their mom and they're nicely calmed down and, and uh, eating, eating good now so hopefully they gain, gain good weight now and they start to grow so um, uh, but yeah just today we're putting out a few bales for the cows and uh, for the feedlot they were kind of out just to get them by till Saturday so put a few out of those a few bales out and uh, get them by till Saturday and then uh, not much else going on just feeding every weekend mostly and and uh, having a little bit of downtime but uh this weekend uh saturday is the cba virtual conference so we're all going to be uh tuned into that and later on that day's a sale so yeah we'll see how the sale goes and hopefully our, our animals do really well they get a good price and uh, hopefully people recognize some uh, good genetics that we offer so hopefully that uh, kind of helps get our name out there a bit more and uh and gets people recognizing us so um yeah if you if you want to watch the sale i think anybody can watch it it's on uh, jack auction auction group uh, com, i think um sale starts around seven i think um saturday night so if you want to watch that stay tuned uh and have a look at that so anyway guys uh i'm sure i'll be filming a bit of feeding and stuff like that coming up so stay tuned for that and uh hope you guys are enjoying the content as always hit that like button subscribe down below and uh we'll see you next time see you guys mm -hmm.